the audience was like, oh, are you acting right now? And I said, kind of. You do whatever you want. What's my lighting cue? What am I supposed to say right now? <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michael Fleming, and welcome to another exciting episode of Inside the Eclipse Studio. This is an ongoing series where we interview uh, talented actors uh, who are involved in productions here in the Santa Clarita Valley. Some actually live here as well. Uh, but the main thing is, uh, these are upcoming productions where we feature the talent on this series. Uh, the show in question is 1984, the George Orwell classic, going to be set in an intimate setting at the main theater in Old Town New Hall, where it opens on March 17th. Very excited to know that this is uh, coming down the pike. And I'm here with Peter Giovanni, <laughs> who's a wonderful actor, uh, I'm sure, who is a member of this cast. And welcome to Thank Inside you. the Eclipse Studio. It's great to be so, here. So uh, I've never interviewed you before. If you don't mind me asking, how did you get started in acting? Well, I uh, graduated college and I was going to be a lawyer, but I thought the career was too volatile and capricious, so I figured I wanted the stability of a good acting job. So what was your first uh, production post-lawyerdom? The first real production was probably The Normal Heart, um, which I did ooh, about a decade ago now. Um, but that was fun. That, was, that wasn't that long before they did the, uh, the miniseries on TV. So oh, really? Okay. It's never fun being compared to Matt Bomer, but it was still a fun production to do. Excellent. So has it been primarily theater that you've been doing, or are you also... I do film? some, uh, yeah, I do some uh, film as well, uh, but yeah, primarily theater, yeah. So, um, you must love it then. I do. I mean, there's, there's, there's nothing like having to go through the actual process with that character throughout. I mean, film, you can cut and redo it and call it and all that, and this, you get one shot at it. If you're not in it, then... It's, right. all, it's going to be kind of a catastrophe, so you have to save it. So uh, let's talk about, uh, tell me the, the most uh, embarrassing moment you've ever had on stage. I don't know if I have a really embarrassing one like that, other than those obvious ones. Um, I, I do have one, though, that in terms of the most coincidental and oddly sort of cars cosmically appropriate, we were doing King Lear. And we were doing it outside in a grove, and early on, I think it's uh, Act 1, Scene 2, Edmund has this monologue where he's talking as you take revenge, take control of his fate, all this stuff, cursing the gods. And right as I cursed the god at the end, I was like, God, stand up for bastards. Right as I did that, I was under a tree, and a bird defecated on my head. Oh. So I literally was cursing the gods as the heavens defecated on my head in that moment. So I don't think any theater experience could possibly top that one in terms of irony. That's one of the better ones I've ever heard. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Say. And you didn't, did you bat an eye, so to speak? Well, there was that part of me that, that acknowledged how incredibly that moment was. So I, I probably looked amused if you were looking at me. And then I went, oh, good, no, I can't wipe that off I, inside. And so, um, but the next after came on and so I wiped it off afterwards. But I don't think anybody really saw it. Um, so it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was interesting. What would you say to somebody who is in their 20s that's going, you know what, I want to do this, what advice would you give to them? What, part of what I love about what we do is the opportunity to explore experiences and characters and issues in the most well-written, most thoughtful, considered ways, when you get really good material. So when you get good material, cherish it, because you'll never have a better experience. Um, I would say when you do get, get those opportunities though, um, just have, have fun exploring it. And that's probably something that a young actor, as you say, would, would need to know is to really be open-minded. And that's the beauty of theater versus film also. Yeah. Is you, you can't, it's hard to have those moments on film, but in theater you can have it every night. Right, and you can also spend a month, two months, you know, germinating that thing and mm -hmm. seeing how far it goes. So, Peter, a pleasure talking to you pleasure and talking can't well. wait to see you in the production. Thank Peter Cervelli, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm Mike Fleming. This is Inside the Eclipse Studio. Uh, make sure that you come out to the main theater in Old Town New Hall on March 17th and beyond to see George Orwell's 1984. It's going to be amazing.